We've got another toy from the Amazon STEM Toys Gift Club. Uh, and this month it's the Mega Fossil Dig Kit. So, you excited to uh, get your Indiana Jones on? You got your hat on, I see? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do this. Sword fella. So we're going to open this up. It's an eight year old up. Alright, so let's just see. So when you open it up, this is what, this is what you see. It's like, uh, so these are, this says it has 15 real fossils. Okay, can you hold this up to the camera? Okay, we've got the book, Fossil Translations. So we've got Fossil Translations, a dig kit, and instructions. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. So uh, you've got, uh, you've got, you've got, along with the, the fossil, you have, look at this, what is this? Magnifying glass. Magnifying glass. A brush. What do you use the brush for? Brushing off the sand. Well, I don't, yeah, I'm not sure, yeah. That's brushing off the sand, so we got a brush. And then this digging out. This is for digging out, okay, so show it to the camera. Okay, Here's got it. So here is our fossil, and let's go ahead and get started. So we're learning about fossils. What have you learned so far? So fossils, fossils are ancient things that have died, like um, bones, um, I think skeletons, leaf imitations, that's what it says, leaf impressions, nest or footprint. And then fossil, fossils also show us how animals change over time. And how they're related to one another. Yeah, how they're related to one another. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. So we, so we literally just took the dig site out of the box. I mean, this literally just took 10 seconds. So you take the dig site out of the box, you basically have three tools, Tools, right? Oh, we just, sure. we just went through them, right? And all we're gonna do is and this is going to get messy, so you, you're going to want to either do this outdoors or you're going to want to put it on a newspaper in the house. You're going to basically dig into this. And the, Rizwan is going to do this for us. He's going to do the first one, and then I'm going to call Khadija, and she's going to do it. Um, and Rizwan's going to dig into, into this. This is like his ground, right? Yeah. And you're going to basically look to see if you can find fossils. And your goal is, Rizwan, is you don't want to break the fossil, right? You want to be careful. You want to uh, clean it and you want to examine it, and then you want to identify what it is, okay? And we're going to use a book to do that. All right? Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, and one of the things I'm going to do, that they kind of recommend is, um, you know, in order to make it a little bit easier to dig into, I'm, going to, I'm just going to put a little bit, a few drops of water onto it. Okay, so we're just going to, just to make it a little bit easier. So I don't have a dropper, so this is not that scientific. We could get a spoon. That's a good, good point. That's fine. So you can see like here, this should make it a little bit easier to kind of dig into it. His hands are already messy. Okay, this is going to be really messy. Alright, here's your tool. You want to dig in? So try to get one of these out. It's hard. Yes, I mean it's going to take some time, right? You're not going to try to pry it out, you're going to dig around it. Okay. You don't want to touch the thing. You don't want to. You don't want to touch the actual fossil because you're going to damage the fossil. So stay away from the fossil, and and just dig around it. Digging in the trying to dig it. You're trying to dig around. Smart clean around it. So while Rizwan digs, let me show you the book. So, National Geographic Fossils Learning Guide. First of all, you're going to learn about what are fossils, how, how are they formed, and then for each of the fossils in the book, and there's 15 of them in the dig site, um, you're going to learn about them. And so, we've got ammonites, gastropods, stingray, a sh shark, Rizwan, we've got monster teeth, Oh my god, Mosasaur! Oh my bad. Oh, I read it wrong. Mosasaur. Mosasaur teeth. 
Okay, my bad. Uh, clans, urchins, I'm skipping the ones I can't actually pronounce, crinoids, corals, dinosaur bone, and yeah, this guy. What is that? Look at that. 1.9 billion years old. This is actually a piece of poop. It's what it says. Yep. Poop. Nice. It's fo fossilized from animal poop. Poop can be fossilized. <laughs> Investigating, discovering. Making a mess. Careful, they don't want to dissolve it too much. You want to just kind of clean it a little bit. Why are you dipping the water? So I can get the dirt off. Yeah. So after Rizlan was cleaning it, he realized the fossil was really small. There's a lot of dirt underneath it, but the fossil itself is tiny. Yeah. Let's keep cleaning. Ah, uh, it broke. Because it was so fragile. Yeah, so what happened? You, Every we, time we, I we, touched we, it with the brush, it would break. Yeah, because you had too much water on it, I think. It's okay. That's fine. That's part of the learning. So we just learned that the fossils are very fragile. And so what was actually a huge piece at the start basically disintegrated. <laughs> 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 All right, let's go for round two. So these are what's going on. So he's trying to dig that big one up. Trying to get that big guy out. Look at him. Oh, it's the big guy. Okay, it's your turn. I'm not quite sure if I did or not. Yeah, so dig gently around it, okay? Don't damage it. Who knows what you found? The shortest fossils in the dirt that you can't see. Okay? I found another fossil, so I'm gonna dig on top very carefully so I don't damage it. As I was saying, if you look closely, you can see this is attached to it. Mm -hmm. I just got one out. It was I thought it was about to break. I was like, no, but it just came out. And there you go. Now we're gonna brush it. Now you're gonna brush it, and you're gonna rinse in the water too, so you can get the dirt off. Okay. And then you're gonna you go. and then we're gonna figure out what it is, what fossil it is. Okay. With the magnifying glass. The magnifying glass. So first you gotta clean it and and wash it. Okay. All right. I think you can take a look at it now. One of these. Um, so Khadija and Rizwan have both been spending like a good 20, 30 minutes digging, right? And it, it took it takes a while, right, of digging, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like it's that fast. It takes a while. You have to really work hard, fast. and you have to be very patient. Uh, and so it took Rizwan spent like a good 20 minutes digging, and then Khadija spent another good 20 minutes digging, and then and then Khadija got her fossil out, and within. 30 seconds, Rizwan got his fossil out, right? Yeah. Whoa, Rizwan, what do you find? Something really shiny. Look at that. That's what I found. What is it? I don't know, not, I don't know, not yet. Looks like a tooth. This is my, another one I found. It's yeah. like tubi. Oh, wow. Bump. Look at that. Wait. So interesting. What is that? So I think we found how many so far? Like six? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. He's found three. Three and Khadija found two. So the fossil I found was a gastropod, which is like the shell of a snail or like a, um, a banana slug or stuff like that. And um, its name in ancient Greek means stomach foot. Um, so there are over 
35,000 living species and 15,000 that can be found in the fossilized record. And they're one of the most uh, modern ones. They can be um, identified by the soft body parts. But then um, the ancient ones, they are identified by only the fossilized shells. And then um, their most successful mollusks ever. So, Rizwan, what do you think of the fossil toy? Is it fun? Yeah, it's really fun. It's messy, and um, it's really cool how you're... If, uh, it shows you how... Um, what's it called again? Those people who dig for fossils... Paleontologists? Yeah, paleontologists do. And you can find really cool shells and all of that, and teeth. And so I th thought it was really fun doing it. Khadija, what do you think? I found a pink gastropod. It is, it is really cool. I was digging it, so there was a big bump in it, and I was like, "This got to be one," because Rizwan's one was a big bump too. So I knew these were gastropods. And then I later put in water, dried it, brushed it a few times, and there you go. You got the pink gastropod.